Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with another, a different kind of video. This time it's Fake Grand Order, and I'm going to be talking about, um, so I have a plan. And let me pull it up right here. It's all the way up here. It is called the Project Samba Plan, you see here. So basically, to sum up, if you're unfamiliar with it, by the way, uh, today's video, if you want to like this one, you're going to have to strap in, fellas, because this is basically a look into madness as I try and... So here's the plan. This banner right here has only ever been released once. It was not, usually there's a rerun of events a year later for specifically something like Halloween or Christmas. They didn't, fate for whatever reason, decided to skip the very best um, Christmas event ever created, and they only ever did it once. So, my current plan is basically to get every single thing on this banner. This includes uh, Quetzalcoatl's uh, tag team partner, Brad Monte. Her trainer, Martha Ruler, and chances are I'll get a bunch of other Marthas as I'm trying to get her. She's the least priority on this, but also want every single one of these CEs. If possible, max on limit broken. I basically want to go whole out for this. Um, and I'm going to be saving a lot of stuff trying to get to it. So here's the current plan. It's called Project Samba. When this was made on February 20, 25th, there was 40 weeks left. Three quotes, uh, three quarts every week. For, oh yeah, three quarts every one week. That's 120 out of four. That's four multi summons. <sighs> 10 months left. For every 10 months, so when this was created, those 10 months left, there were, you get five tickets from the shop. That would mean 50 tickets. That's five multis. And then every week, you get one ticket, 40 tickets. If I never forget a login, I'll have around 40 tickets by the time it's the event is here. Uh, unknown, unknown tickets. Tickets that. The game just kind of gives you, and I have no idea how to get them. I assume I'll get at least 20 to 30 of those. That's another 2 to 3 multis on them. So for Samba Day, I should have 9 to 12 multis in saving. Now, here's the part where I put in saving in quotes. Oh, well, let me do some more. So 9 to 12. And then every 50 days, I get 30 quarts, except for on the once, uh, 30th, the one that was previous. I've, they've changed it by now. No, they change it at the, um, the anniversary, so forgive me for that one. Um, so I get 120 quarts plus 20, that's 140 for four summons. Anniversary quarts, 200, equals 180 used for multis, leaving six summons. Um, if you combine it with the extra 10 here, that would actually be, um, seven, but you know, I digress. Combine here, it's 10 multis, it's 11 multis actually, me. So at best, I would have 20 to 23 multis from extras. Now here, I basically, I'm going to run down every banner that's going to come out. So let's start from here, and I'm basically going to give you my thought process of hey, if I'm going to be actually summoning on them or not. Not if whether you should or not. If you want to tell me what you plan to summon on, I'll gladly listen. Um, but other than that, yeah, nothing. So Caldea Boys is the current banner up. I have not spent on anything because there's no point in me doing it any of it. The Saber Wars rerun. I have this unit, I have this unit, I have this unit. I have enough of these CEs where grinding isn't so bad. The only unit I'm really missing is Mysterious Hero and X, and I don't really need her. And she's gonna get a Summer Servant that I'll use much more later on. So guess what? That's a, basically a very easy skip for me. So that's zero multis I would ever even try. I currently have two multis saved up. Uh, Class-based summoning campaigns are a trap. I would never summon on them. Next, Anastasia. So <laughs> Anastasia, I think this is just her by herself. No, it's not. I actually saw this a little bit before. It's Anastasia, Atlanta Altar, and Avibros. I really like Avibros, but I don't think he's limited at all. Yeah, he's not. He's the creator of the gold and stuff. He's cool. Look at his cape. I like him very much. Looks bitchin'. It's a shame that Apocrypha wastes them, but that's every character in Apocrypha. Anyway, no reason to summon on this banner for me, because none of the units are limited. Anastasia summoned banner 2, though, has Ivan in it. Ivan's great. He's a giant mammoth man, and it has Antonio Solari. He is a three Avengers class. He is the rival to Mozart, and look at him. He's just cool. I would want him, but he's a three. He's also locked, so that means I wouldn't be able to actually get him. So, I don't know. I think I have this as basically... Let me, let me run down some of my thoughts. This is when I made this two weeks ago, so... Anastasia Banner, two. Cool Elephant Man and Angry Music Man. I have one multi and hope for the three stars. Zero interest in Anastasia, though. Uh, I might drop that down to zero. Just because, like, there's really no reason 
for me to summon for a three. That's insane. I, I'm a crazy person if I do that. Next, we have Journey to the World. Journey to the West, the rerun. I have absolutely everything in this banner. There's no reason for me to summon. I have the giant titty monk. I got her last time her event came two years ago. Now, I did mention that events usually come back in a year. Not events like this. Events like this usually come back in an interval of two years or so. Uh, next banner right here. Basically, all the characters from Fate Apocrypha will get their own separate banners. There's absolutely no reason for me to summon on any of them because they're not even the Fate Apocrypha characters I care about. So next, this banner. Ignore C because he's not on the banner. It's got Achilles and Chiron. I love Achilles. I love Chiron. There's some okay CEs, but there's really no reason for me to summon on this at all because both of them are not limited. So they're just free to <laughs> free to join the banner afterwards. So yeah. No reason for me to summon on this either. I think that's an easy skip. I think I might have put down one multi to help maybe see if I can grind better, but let me double check. Uh, Fate Apocrypha. Zero multis. Characters are cool, but it's an easy pass. So even pass, pass Wilkie was like, no. Also, here's my real name. Check it out. I can hear. Remember the name. <laughs> I didn't put this one down, but this ban this event here will bring us uh, Sherlock. Um, no interest in Sherlock at the moment. Uh, at least in terms of actually going for him on a separate banner, just because Quetz fills the exact same rule, so it'd be kind of be like dueling rulers at that point, so no thank you. Uh, the Guda Guda 2 rerun, I already have the things I would care from this banner, and I have Chacha, so that's zero multis to this one. Akita Soju summoning campaign, there's zero reason for me to ever want an Okita, just in general. Um... I don't think this unit is very... It's, I mean, it's not that her unit's bad, it's just old and very uninteresting to me. Uh, the 13 million download campaign, I have every... I have, I'm have. i missing two units from this banner, I believe it is Tama Lancer and Roger Dryder. There's a part of me that's like, I might throw a multi at this just because I'm a dum dumb, and I think I even put it in here. Uh, so yeah, Okita and the Guda Guda 2. I have Chacha, that's all I need, zero multis. This banner... In theory, zero, because I don't like Tama Mo the Summer that much. But I want Mo, so I might accidentally throw a multi at it. I have a very weak will, so you never know. Also, as much as I don't like her character, let's actually take a good look at her. Because, Jesus Christ. Look. Who wouldn't want that? Look. Enhance. I can't enhance. Let's move on. Next we have Guda Guda 3. This is actually the first dangerous banner in basically months. Because this banner is actually pretty good. It has a brand new Okita, uh, Kukita Altar. I don't care about you, Emiya. I kinda care about you, Lee. And it has Izo, which is the character I actually care most about. The funny thing is is if actually if you wait a day, the banner gets way better. Because it like features on fewer characters. Um so yeah, the thing I was going to say for this one is that, so my entire re I was actually going to do a lot of summoning things on this one, I think my plan was at least over three, but then I pulled Kiara, and Kiara and Okita share the exact same role because their NPs are both AoE, yeah, deal damage to all enemies, so there's really no reason for me to have her besides I kind of like her, but that's not enough to justify going crazy for her in a banner. Um, but let it not be denied, she's not cute looking. She's very dumb looking as well, but the kind of dumb I like. I think she's very stupid, but in a very endearing way. Here's an upskirt under boob shot. Anyway, let's move on. That's enough from there. We're mosening past this. The Dead Summer Race. Um, there's absolutely no reason. If you saw my summoning campaign for this, the summoning campaign, my summons videos on this one, you'll know that I basically did not get Nero at all. Um, but I have these three right here, which I'm happy about. So there's no reason for me to summon, even though I badly want Nero. No real reason to summon. The only unit I would want from this banner, because I have her, I have her, do not have Mama. I don't have any Mama servants, and it kills me on the inside, because I love Mama so much. I love Berserkers, I love her entire aesthetic, I like her little look right here. Her sprite's fantastic. I mean, come on. People have problems with, like, her look. And I'm going to say, I don't give a fuck. That's great. That's all around great. Look right here. Right here. Right here. Even, you know, very beautiful face. Very long hair. Into that, the color of the hair, purple. Her twisty body kind of fucked up. But that's okay. That's okay. 
I'm fine with it, is what I'm saying. This is a better look. Yeah, smile. Anyway, let's move on. Um, a lot of this is gonna reveal really weird sides of me, but anyway. <laughs> Next, uh, I shouldn't even really show him. It is, uh, what's it, Napoleon, and this is Sigurd, and Valkyrie. Valkyrie is the only unit I would care from these two summoning campaigns, but not enough to actually put them in here, which is like, yeah, didn't even mention them, not once. Basically, easy skip banners for me, personally. And again, I'm saying easy skip because that's just the how way I be, man. That's just the way I be. There's a lot of- everyone has their own favorite servants, and this is just my way to guarantee I have mine. So, summoning campaign, Scotty is, one, fantastically broken. She has a 50% NP on her third skill, and she has a 50% increase to quick attack in her first skill. She's insane. She's very good looking. Fantastic. Great. Basically the same picture, except for her boobs are showing. But, like, middle boob. The very, like, very classy. A lot of people do over the top boob, under boob is very nice, but the boob window right here, so that's a portal into the soul. Alright, this last one's very good for a magical girl kind of look. Kind of weirdly like, oh you know what, I kind of want to zoom in on the chest because I just noticed that it kind of looks kind of funky to me, but it's fine. Yeah, she's fine. She looks perfectly good. Anyway, I think I put this down under three for me, so let me double check. Yeah, uh, <laughs> two to four actually. So I'm I'm doing a hard line and saying three, but there's almost zero chance of me getting her in three multis. By the way, it's actively impossible. So I'm, a lot of these is like when I say like oh I'm gonna throw one thing in it, it's because it's under the idea like it was already impossible for me to get them. But I may as well. You miss every shot you don't take is what they say. So that's what I'm gonna do. Basically, all these. The only one I'm summoning on is extra guys. The only one I would probably not is writer. Because I like all these, I like the new writers. I don't have Metam, I would love her. She has Cheese Kick. I would love a dupe Quetz. I wouldn't mind a dupe of any of these characters, even, except for Drake, because I already have a dupe Drake, so I wouldn't want another dupe Drake. Um, but this one is the most likely, because I only have one unit in this class, and it's Kiara. All these other ones, Okita, I could use, I could use, Melt, I could use, I could use, I could use, I could use, I could really use. I could use. I would not want, but he's good at farming, so who cares? Gene is the only one that I think I would not want the most in terms of care as a unit. And the one I, as a person, I don't want you at all. I hate him. I hate this man. He sucks. This is also the banner where I have a good chance of getting Salayari because this is only extra classes and he's the only three extra class in the entire game. I think at this moment, anyway. Let's move on. That's the third anniversary basically out the window. Get the hell out of here. Yeet. We got, this is where all my multis die. All the things I've been saving up for, this is where they all die. Because we have this banner one, who I think I'm only gonna do at most three three multis. And if I get one of these characters and a lot of CEs early on, I'll stop summoning. Because out of these, I think Jean is the only one I would want. And it's really only because, yeah, look. Perfect. Great. Perfect here. Under underutilized. So good the dolphin's la like happy about it. Dolphin in this shot, not happy. Dolphin in this shot, a I like it. I like what I'm seeing. This though, what the hell is this? Um I know it's basically Jolter Lily's final form if she was an adult, but also God I don't want that. No one should want that. And look. Fantastic. If anything, this should have been their, th their third one. Because they, even they realized they fucked up. And there's dolphins, they're back. Super liking it. Uh, but it's not a huge priority anyway. And then this one. Ooh. This banner. This is like a four to sixer. Because I want BB Summer. I want Mysterious Hero and XX. I want Meta Saber. I want all of it. I want it so bad. Six, at least six multis easy. And let's see what I say here. Summer part three. All my quartz die, three to four on Summer Gene, unless if I can pull at least one Summer Servant and a lot of CEs. Uh, four to six summons are in Summer BB, less if I pull BB or Mysterious Hero when XX early. So even if I get meta, I'm like, eh, I want to go, I want to go in deeper. Uh, this also, this event also really is a grind and a half, so I need those CEs for helping me a lot. But yeah, that's where a lot of my multis die. No multis on this because I have every unit from this banner. I think. Let me double check. 
pretty sure I do. Yep, I have all these units. I have her MP4, and also she shows up at the end of December, so really there's no need for me to summon on this at all. Um, I might throw- I don't put this under because I think I basically said no other banner matters, but let me tell you why this matters. Because Mama's on it, and Mama has a solo raid up. And look at Mama. Mama. Mama in the skin tight suit. Giant hordes. Fantastic, lovely. Here she is very nicely hugging her sword like she was that girl from um, High School of the Dead. I mean, same chest as the girls from High School of the Dead anyway. But she's fantastic as a unit, and in general, I love Mama. I love her interactions. I think she's funny. I loved her in the Dead Summer Race. Love her. Fantastic. I would love to have her. Wouldn't really want to try and get her because she gets a free four later, and that's perfectly fine for me. Battle in New York. I have no interest in actually summoning this for any of the units because I already have Sheba, so there's no reason to summon. What I do want, though, is this. This is good. This is all good. All good here. So maybe one multi. <sighs> Next. We're almost here. We're almost at December. By the way, this is my second time recording this because I wanted the video to come up better. Um, I'm trying a different setup for this. But let's continue. I already have everything I would want from the rerun. Zero chance of summoning on this one. Halloween 2018. I think the unit is Setonia. I think I put down one to three multis depending on stuff. I would want Setonia. I think she's a very cool unit. She has Shiro the Bear, the best Shiro. And I love Halloween in general. So I kind of feel like it'd be wrong to not summon on Halloween for me. And I think I basically have here. Love Halloween and out of respect for Lerp, I will try to summon for Setonia. Lerp. If you see my Dragalia videos, a uh, good buddy of mine, this is basically where all his love for fate died in one go. He went so crazy for Setonia, did not get her until a year later. If that. I think it was a year and a couple days later. But, uh, let's go on to the next one. I mean, I would really like Abby, but I'm not gonna summon for Abby. That's just the, the long and short of it. Um, Ara, Arish, there's really, there's literally no reason for me to summon for her, because one, I have all the CDs I want from this event, and also, her role it gets replaced by the unit in this December one. So no reason to summon. Uh, for me, that is. She is a very good girl, though. Sin chapter, this is basically the China chapter, zero units of interest to me. Only one I like is red hair, and I might throw a summon for red hair, but really not a big deal. And then finally, here we are at the end. Yeah, I want Samba Quetz. There's nothing more I want in this world than to get everything I want for Samba. And that's kind of my plan for fate for this entire year. And I'm sharing it with you because, one, I need someone to talk to about this because I've been holding it deep inside me. Um, it needs to be free. It just needs to be free, man. She's such a good unit. She's so happy. Who doesn't love her? And the person who doesn't love her are weird Australian people with no soul. That's what I'm saying right now calling you out guts you know who you are if you're watching this video he is not watching this video i'm just kidding guts is a very lovely person we disagree on a lot of fate stuff but that doesn't matter because i love who i love and fuck everyone else that's my kind of feeling <laughs> on it where are you samba i need to get a close-up for samba samba santa so yeah that's today's video man look at her that's so good so yeah that's the end of today's video just, uh, I hope you liked it. I think this is a very weird, different kind of video for me, but you know, this is kind of how I play Fate. That's really it, is that I look for the entire year to about what's good, and then I kind of figure out from there. Um, this is basically a very delayed end of the, uh, beginning of the year, how's my Fate summoning gonna look like. Um, the one thing that I never account for, by the way, is how much it, I'll like a, a character in the story, because that will always fuck me up in terms of wanting a character. So let's go here. So uh, using my very bad math, which I will say again is bad, should not be trusted. Um, in the best case scenario, I'll have at least eight multi summons. In the worst case scenario, I'll have one. I should add an extra one. So best case scenario, nine multis. Worst case scenario, two. Now, that's tough to kind of quantitate <laughs> because that's a lot of crazy shit basically happening all the time. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my plan. And that's kind of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you enjoyed me looking at women very weirdly. It is what it is, man. I like a lot of the fate women, though. They're very cool girls. Especially Quetz. She's great. And it's not just because of the boobs. 
I mean, yes, these are great. But when you look past these, and you look right here, at the smile. It's the smile that brings you a sense of joy. It's not the fact that she has weird... Th she has these three markings that are usually on her chest near her vagina. That doesn't matter. What does matter is that I love her. And that's it. That's today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Um, if you made it this far, you better freaking like it. Leave a like. <laughs> because, God, I've had to record this twice and I my throat is parched. Let me get up, Dr. Pepper. Alright. Now, I hope you liked it. And until next time, I'm Wokey and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. Goodbye. Now let's see if this actually stops the video.